All right, today we need to get tier five complete with Trader Gen. Now I am at five, nine, 13, 17, 21, 26 points out of 35. So I need to get nine to get tier five complete. So that should only need to be two tier fives or a tier four and a tier five. So we should definitely be able to get that. And then I can start working towards getting tier six complete as well. Let me grab my drone now that I have that. Now, really quickly, let me pick Where that back up. How many slots is it? Right, three slots. So I could have three extra cargo slots in there. Um, let's have a look. Didn't mean to punch that. Been playing a game that apparently involves clicking things to open it. I think it was Subnautica that made me do that. So the robotic drone cargo mod needs steel, scrap, polymers, electricals, and mechanical parts. I think I have most of that, but I imagine I'm still short on scrap polymers because we did make seven do collectors yesterday. So <laughs> pretty likely to be running low there, but I'll find the rest of it. I haven't gotten around to sorting out everything, but that does remind me. I need a bunch of nails from the forge. So let's just start that up. Steel, mechanical parts, and then just electrical parts wherever I've left those. Okay, I can't seem to find any electrical parts, so maybe I just don't have any, or I just can't find them. It's not urgent, because I don't have the polymer to make the mods anyway, so today I'll keep an eye out for extra scrap polymer and electrical parts. I have to wait for Trader Gen to open so I can actually start those quests, so I will cut to that. Now there's my electrical parts, so I came in here to look for lockpicks, and I actually did find that there. Here's my lockpicks as well, right, um, let me just store the pieces in here. That way I don't have to worry about them and I just have to find 30 scrap polymer. Could probably do that in like the first POI I go into, so that's helpful. All right, Jen, give me a tier four and a tier five you today. I'll make the oh, time. you got a special mission? I think I've got... Okay. Up to Trader Bob, we Be can do careful. that later. So we got tier five infestation well, there and the we've got tier four infestation very close. Let's start with that and then do the tier five. If I'm lucky, I'll get the gyrocopter bundle again and I might get the chassis and that would really just get me to the vehicle I want because finding 50 more magazines is going to take a very long time without having points in Grease Monkey and I'm not wasting my time with Grease Monkey. Also, do I have a skill point? I do, I've got two. Let's take two points in agility. That way I can get more run and gun. Here we are. Start that. Is this door locked? No, cool. Something just opened. Oh, hey. Really? Bleed? On the second hit? Oh, I didn't bring regular meds, so I'm just kind of stuck here. <laughs> I've only got painkillers and first aid kits. I knew I forgot something. Hungry, let's eat the shepherd's pie. Well, oh, hello vultures. The other one's inside. And we want to come in here. This seems dangerous. There we go. Let's get the infested cash. With a bunch of ammo in it. No shotgun shells though. Mildly annoying. Weapons bag with sharp sticks in it. And some mitts. Let's open up all these other containers. See what I get. Jamway box with food. Tools with a book I already know. And some more food. Let's unlock this. Yeah, nah, just eat all my lockpicks. That's fine. I swear, the more lockpicks you have, the more willing to eat all your lockpicks these chests are. Uh, furious Fists, Forge Ahead, another drum mag, and a sledgehammer, which is worse than mine. Let's go back to Jen and get my reward and take the other quest, the Tier 5 Infestation. I will grab some bandages while I'm there so I don't have to waste first aid kits. I will take the slightly better pickaxe. Ah, uh, even has an extra mod slot, that's helpful. Uh, she has vehicle adventures. Don't know why, but I will take them. Don't, when did she have a chance to get those? When did she reset and I didn't notice? Weird. Remember Whatever. Me? Let's take our other quest. Tells oh, Bona. Oh my work. god. I completely forgot about the scrap polymers, didn't I? Well, this one I know definitely has a decent amount of them in there, so it'll work just fine. Here we are. Fuck that guy. 
start the quest. So the scrap polymer I need. Now we just need to focus on clearing this place out. Some food with the home cooking weekly, nice. Just die. Going down. Ammo box here with ammo, unsurprising. No, I can stop all of them. Did I not see another one? I guess not. But we're done here at least. Grab this. A machete and a dart trap bundle and some mods and ammo. Cool. At least a lot of shotgun ammo this time. More shotgun ammo. Trapping for fun. Food and meds. Right, let's unlock this. See how many dozens of lockpicks this takes. Steel arms and a bunch of stuff. Cool. Let's go get my quest reward and hopefully that should finish tier 5. And then we can start working towards tier 6 complete, which is much more likely to give me the gyrocopter bundle. Plus it could give me a bunch of other cool things. The level 6 auto shotgun would be nice. Not the top priority, it's only one level higher than my current one, but an upgrade's an upgrade. And I like purple weapons, sue me. Hey Jen, give me something good. I think I have a level 6 M60, so that's not too helpful, but I'll take the grenades. We are done. So, military armor bonus bundle, no gyrocopter bundle immediately. That's annoying, but eh, it happens. Uh, I don't need military armor bundle, don't need a solar bank, don't need melee mods. Don't really need that much steel, so I'll just take the money. That's unfortunate, but it's fine. Let me go and make the robotic cargo mods before I decide what else I want to do. Oh, is my farm done? Ah. Let's get three of those cargo mods and then let's check out the farm. So let me just double check, I do have living off the land here. Yeah. So let's see what we can get from all of this. I need a bone knife, honestly, this has taken forever. Okay, I'm actually just going to make a bone knife. This is genuinely painful to clear that many farm plots. The bone knife light attacks a little bit faster than the fist, so it'll improve. A chainsaw is also a good option, but I'm not wasting gas on them. Bone knife. Level 5. Two cargo mods are done, by the way. Let me grab the drone. Put those on there. I'll just keep it in my inventory for now while I wait for that last one to craft. Right, let's continue. There we go. We got 53 corn seeds back from that. Right, so this is what I ended up with. But remember, I wanted to get 20 seeds of everything here. So let's start by just turning as much of all of this into seeds that I need as possible. So like 13 more blueberry seeds. I've got enough chrysanthemum seeds. Coffee. Did I get any coffee seeds back? That sucks. I've just basically broke even on coffee. What a flawless mechanic this is. Let's get some cotton and 
Have I got a golden rod? I need six more golden rod. Hops. Get five more. Yucca. Basically broke even. Potatoes. Where are they? I still need 11 potato seeds. Right, well, we're doing better on a lot of them, but not all of them. Let's start replanting this. Right, well, I don't really want to plant another fucking 20 corn here. Uh, but we're definitely making progress on getting more of some of these. I should definitely keep an eye out in POIs for more of them as well. Uh, but in the end, we have so much corn and a lot of chrysanthemum, goldenrod. Decent profits on a lot of those, but some of them are going to take a while before I can get any sustainable amount of them. Chuck these in here next to the water. Makes enough sense to me. Speaking of the water, is this... Okay, it's only produced one since the last time I was here. So let's grab it all. Just 12 water, just throw that in here as well. Let's go get that last cargo mod and then see if there's any quests I want to do for Jen because obviously she can be progressed to tier 6 complete using quests that aren't just tier 6s so I can do like tier 5s and tier 4s to move it along a little bit. Cargo mod. While I'm here, let me grab as many of these nails as I can get and ask for just all the writable storage. That is a horrendous amount of writable storage, oh my god. 110 of the fucking things. Right, let's go talk to Jen. My drone now has huge... It's just disappeared. There we go. <laughs> it has huge amounts of inventory, so that's fantastic. Makes up for my lack of gyrocopter and 4x4 storage. Aight, Jen, what do you have? Um, clear zombies 200 meters away, but it would be, yeah, a full one. I'd rather not. Do it infested clear further away. That'll just take away less time. Let's head over to the waterworks and clear it out and make a little start towards tier 6 complete. Welcome to the waterworks. Waterworks? Yeah, I sure hope it does. Start that and let's get this done with quickly so that I can get back to Jen and maybe take a restore power during the night. Is there a vulture or something? Where's that marker? Oh, hey. Is there a wandering horde or something? Why is there so many zombies? Last room coming up. Hmm. That's ah, the same as the one I have. More zombies alive back here. There's a chicken in here. Let's deal with the last few guys. There we go. Let's get the loot. Uh, auto turret bundle. So a bunch of 9 mil ammo basically. Some ammo. Some food. Let's bash open these. Meds. An axe. <laughs> and the vehicle adventure is nice. Didn't bring a lot of picks, let's just break this open with my pickaxe then. Nothing amazing in there. Let's go back to Jen and take another quest. 
amazing. Ah, level Can 6 auto shotgun. Great. Is it actually an upgrade though? 24.9, 23.9, yep. Small upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. Right, let's take the restore power. Passing oh, gas 5. Proceed, now we can't start that until night time, so let's head back to my base and sort out my inventory a little bit. Right, there's a bunch of storage crates at least. Let's head over to the barn, which is where I think I'm going to do my storage. Because it's huge. Let's see what setup I can get going here. So if I did it in here, there would be a block behind it, but I would get three blocks tall of storage. So I think that would be the best way. Ah, but this pillar here needs to be removed at each level and replaced with a cargo container, which is fine. I mean, I cannot possibly need more storage than that. Give myself some better room here. I'm going to get a railing and place it like this so that I can walk, but I can also shoot down and look down. And I will just remove this ladder because it's not doing anything anyway. I will reinforce this with a nail gun later. There we go. And we can pretty much have uh, a storage container for pretty much everything I would need. And then I can put my crafting stations in here as well. And I can set up turrets if I really want to make sure that nothing can get to my crafting area. Which might be smart. Uh, let's just put these in here for now. And then I'll come back later and reinforce this. I need to begin heading towards the night quest if I want to start it precisely at like 10 p.m. Oh great is this place again. It bugged last time I was here. So we have to wait until 10 p.m. That's fine. That's like you know, a couple of minutes away, so I'll just wait here. Alright, it's night time. Let's get in here. I'm not going to try and stealth it, I'm just going to fight the fucking zombies that come with it. The meds. And Handyland, woohoo. Try and turn this on. Uh, don't you love how this is literally the lock picking mechanic? There. Come in here and then immediately run away. Pick up that chair as well. While I'm here, just open up this sealed shipping crate here. Uh, oh, nothing too useful. Ammo, some medical supplies. Surprised I'm still not done with the medical journal book. Vehicle adventures, and another one. Let's bash open the end chest here. Shotgun weekly, a beaker, and a club. Cool. Let's head back to my base. Uh, let's see. Tier 5 complete. So we're 9 out of 42 there, so that gives me another 33 points to get to tier 6 complete, which can be done pretty easily. Probably won't get it done tomorrow, but we can definitely make a start on it. I will now head back to my base and work on that little storage area I was building up. Alright, so it's the next day. I spent the entire night and the first few hours of the day moving all my loot from in there to in there and sorting it into the millions of storage containers I have. Let's go talk to Jen and see what reward I can get. We've got the well, that didn't take long. Level 6 steel helmet, same as what I have basically. Um... I will take the crafting skill magazine bundle, and what quests do you have? Bunch of tier 6s. Might not be the most efficient way to do it, to be honest. Because I can get these things done way faster, the in tier 5 infested clears, tier 4 infested clears. Oh, this is the best way so let's start with those, and, nice and work my way up. Here. So let's go do this. Here we are. 
start that. Get this so I can get a forge ahead. I don't really need it now that I've got one crucible, but you never know. You might need a second crucible. that bandage. Let's continue. Oh, the end loop. Oh, that was very easy. Bunch of grenades and ammo. More ammo. Didn't bring a lockpick again. Medical journal. Uh, handy land. And let's bash open the end loop. Tactical warfare. Tactical assault rifle. And a beaker. One of millions at this point. And a bow magazine. Let's go back to Jen and take another job. That'll be me up to about 13 points then. Out of 42. Uh, let's take the exploding arrows. And this tier 5 infested clear. That'll get me from 13 points to 18 points. A couple more days of doing quests and we should have tier 6 complete pretty easily. And if I don't end up getting the gyrocopter bundle, I'm going to cry and shit myself with rage. Alternatively, I will maybe respec, take the points out of agility and put those into Grease Monkey and just try and find a bookstore and then find a trader who can like reset it for me and do that. That would also work. I would really prefer if it would just give me another gyrocopter bundle though. Watch me get one and it just gives me the accessories again. Here we are. Anything in the mailbox? This will take. Reset it. Paper. Okay. In we go. Skill point there, let's put that in run and gun for more hit fire accuracy and uh, a reduced reload penalty. Ow. Oh, I actually felt that one. Another one, really. Tactical Warfare, five away from that being done at least, and then I'll be able to open up the loot tables for other things. Weekly, one more of those and I'll be done with that as well.
Tactical Warfare and Handyland, Shotguns and Tactical Warfare. So we're done with Shotguns, that's going to open up the loot tables a lot more for other things now. Tested cash with a bunch of ammo. Huge profit on shotgun shells then. Some food. Some ammo. Let's bash open these containers. Two of those and a vehicle adventures. Electrical traps and the mod I already know. No little picks. Let's bash open then. A couple of useful things in there. Well, there goes my leg. <laughs> I didn't realize that went all the way from up there down to here. That's fine. Um... I've got plenty of medical stuff back at my base. In the meantime, I will use this first aid kit, some frames, and then drive on over. I can get a health bar, um, cast, steroids, I'll be fine. And none of that's particularly useful. Let's take the crafting skill magazine. Anything good? Not really. Hey, let's head back to my base. Here's a health bar, that'll help. Use that, we'll heal, we'll heal faster. And then I'll drive back around to my base and get a cast to help with this. I got steroids on me. What about in here? Uh, no. That's fine. I did get skill point. Let's get healing factor. That will make me use more food, but food is no longer a problem. So now my injuries will heal faster. Which will help with that quite a bit. Alright, so the biggest help is going to be the uh, cast. That takes it down to just 19 minutes. I have a spare health bar here, which will allow me to use the reduced healing timer for longer. Then if I take two steroids, that should give me enough. I could maybe get away with one. Yeah, that'll stop me from hurting myself if I'm to sprint. So, see, I can just run around like this. It still makes it uh, worsen, I think, but it doesn't hurt you, so it's pretty helpful. Saving yourself from that kind of damage. So that'll be healed probably by morning, so I'm just going to leave this video here for now. Let me know if you're still enjoying this series, and in the meantime, special thank you to my members and patrons. If you want to become one of those, there are links in the description to do so. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out another one? I would recommend the one on the top right. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.